Thank you for your interest in our video presentation. This is a case report entitled Correcting Severe Seizure Bite in an Adult. This case report is authored by Drs. Woon Bong Baek, Yoon Ji Kim, Jun Ji Sugawara, Christine Hong, and Jaehan Park. This case was treated by Dr. Woon Bong Baek of Smile with Orthodontic Clinic located in Seoul, Korea, and this presentation is narrated by Dr. Christine Hong. This is our 28-year-old female patient with the chief complaint of Caesar bite. Patient presented with skeletal class 2 pattern with AMB of 4 and her lips were protrusive. Intraoral examination revealed a class 1 molar and canine relationship on the left side. The patient had 5 mm overjet and 30% overbite. The maxillary arch had moderate crowding with proclined incisors, and the mandibular arch had severe crowding with lingually displaced right posterior segment. Let's take a closer look. Patient had a severe scissor bite. The upper molars occlude with lower ridge with extrusion of maxillary molars. Lower posterior teeth are lingually tilted at a 90 degree angle. You can appreciate this from the lingual view as well. Mandibular basal bone was also affected and there was asymmetric mandibular constriction on the right side. Caesar bite does not get corrected spontaneously. It progressively worsens as maxillary teeth continue to super erupt and mandibular teeth continue to tip lingually as in her patient. If it is not corrected, mandibular posterior teeth can be lost. Untreated Caesar bite in younger patients can lead to abnormal jaw growth and development of facial asymmetry. If this patient comes to your office, how would you treat this case? Surgery was recommended to the patient as a first treatment option. However, patient declined the surgical treatment. This is the overview of our non-surgical correction of severe Caesar bite in an adult patient. For maxilla, we used TSAD facilitated posterior intrusion with two TSADs for balanced biomechanics. For the mandibular molar uprighting, we chose not to use TSADs in this case. Instead, a modified lingual holding arch was delivered to the mandibular arch. During the mandibular uprighting, patient used a maxillary bite plate. After 7 months, scissor bite correction was successfully achieved. The maxillary right molars were intruded. The mandibular right molars were buccally uprighted. By uprighting the mandibular right posterior teeth, we were able to reposition the alveolar housing as well and relieve the mandibular basal bone constriction, which led to long-term stability. If you're interested in learning more about our case, you can find it in AJODO July 2019 issue.